All right, so the first thing we need to do is open the Expo XDE and click Create New Project. Now I usually choose Tab Navigation Project even if I'm not making a tab-based application because it gives you a lot of default files and folders that I find convenient. I'm going to name our project, which I'll call PolySnap, and I've already got a folder picked out on my desktop where I want to place my application. So I'll click Create, and this usually takes a couple of minutes, so I'll pause the video and return when this is finished loading. All right, the project is finished creating, and one thing I think is a good idea to always do as soon as it started is to run your project on a device or simulator just to make sure that everything got created correctly. So I'm going to open the simulator right now, and while that's loading, I'm going to open up my code in a code editor. So just give one second for all of this to load. Alright, so I've got my code over here, and the simulator is still launching. Uh, while that's running, another thing I want to do is open a terminal window in the project directory, so I'll click that, and that should give us a terminal window. Okay, and as you can see over here on the right-hand side, the simulator has launched the application. There were no errors, everything worked out correctly. So, the first thing we want to do in this terminal window is install a few packages that we're going to need eventually throughout the app. The first set of packages we're going to install uh, have to do with 3JS, which is a JavaScript library for rendering graphics. So we'll do npm install dash capital S for save, and we will give it the 3 package and expo dash 3. We'll press enter to install those. And while this is installing, We'll do a little bit of cleanup of the code over here. Like I said, we did a tab navigation project and it gives you a lot of default stuff, but there's a lot of stuff that we won't need and so we can just delete it out. So first let's come into the main tab navigator file and we're going to delete all the references to the links and the settings screens. So that would be the file references. Oops, here are the actual tabs themselves. And down here is where it figures out what icon to use for the different tabs. And I'll clean this up just a little bit, save that. Then we can delete the files themselves as they're not being referenced anymore. And finally, we'll come into the home screen and just delete all of this text out because we aren't gonna need it. So right here, I'm going to delete the styles here I'm deleting some functions that this screen is using that we don't need. And I'm going to delete everything except for the outermost view. And we did delete the container style, so instead of that, why don't we just give some padding. And here we'll put some text that says home screen, just to make sure everything's working. And we can also delete a few of these components here that we won't be using. And let's clean that up just a little bit. Okay, and I'll save it. The app will refresh. I'm going to check on the installation packages. Looks like it installed correctly. And we want to install one more package, which is Expo Graphics, so we'll type npm install dash capital S for save and Expo Graphics. And this will give us a, a component in Expo that we can use to render graphics. So while that installs, I'll minimize that. And as you can see on the simulator, we've got the home screen shown up, showing up here. So a few more cleanup things I want to do. I always delete the layout file out of constants because I never use it. And in the components directory, I always create, oop, I, I usually delete this styled text file. And I always create a folder. Oh. We got an error over here because we deleted the styled text and it's being referenced right here. So I'll just delete that. I also don't need the web browser. So delete all of that and save and we can reload, it should work. 
and I always create a new folder called app components and inside of that create a file called index.js which is where we'll reference all of our components that we create throughout the app. One last thing we can do since we're not actually going to be making a tab application is come into our main tab navigator and switch this from a tab navigator to a stack navigator. So let's import the stack navigator also from React Navigation and just change this to be a stack navigator. And here are the options that it was giving to the tab navigator. Uh, since we have now a stack navigator, we won't need those options, but we may add some other options as we build the app. We'll have to wait and find out. And I'll save this. And as you can see, the tab went away. So I think we're ready to start actually building the application.